Okay, hi everyone. So in this session, we will discuss about the structure of page table. In the previous classes, uh, we have discussed what is a page and what is a page table. Like that, we have discussed. As you all know, a page table consists of page as well as frame number. Page number as well as frame number. Right? Okay. So now we will discuss uh, about structure of page table. So the structure of page table consists of three varieties. They were nothing but the first one is hierarchical paging. Hierarchical paging we can also call it as a multi-level paging or we can also call it as two-level paging or three-level paging. Okay, we can also call it as hierarchical uh, hierarchical paging or multi-level paging or two-level paging or three-level paging. Next coming to the second one is a uh, hashed page table. The third one is inverted inverted page table okay we will see these in detail one by one okay so first we will go with uh, hierarchical paging okay so see here the hierarchical paging can also be called as uh, two level paging two level paging or multi level paging and it is forward mapped page table it is forward mapped page table okay it is forward mapped page table because we are moving in a forward direction from left to right that's why it was simply named after forward mapped page table okay so if you see so here in hierarchical planning you know uh, in any sector there will be hierarchy for example if you see the college in a college the management will be at the top level next we will have the principal next we will have the head of the departments next we will have the staff next we will have the students so it's a hierarchy management principal hods staff next students it's a hierarchy right so like that here so we are discussing about a hierarchical page see here we will have outer page table okay we will have an outer page table okay so here this this consists of the information regarding 1 to 50 okay 1 to 50 information will be here and here 100 to 708 that information will be stored here like that here it consists of the information regarding 929 to 900 that information will be stored here okay so this is the outer page table and this consists of the information regarding the inner page table this is inner page table outer page table and inner page table and again this inner page table consists of the information regarding 1 to 50 records okay where 1 to 50, 1 to 500 records sorry 1 to 500 records where the 1 to 500 records were there in the fiscal memory so that information will be stored here by coming to here the information regarding 100 to 708 that information will be stored in this record like that vice versa okay so this can be called as hierarchical hierarchical paging okay hierarchy hierarchical paging since uh, here we have two pages one is outer page and the other is inner page we call it as two level two level paging okay and here if you insert one more one more uh, inner page so outer page table inner page table and inner page table 1 and inner page table 2 like that if you insert one more so 1 2 and if you insert one more it will become 3 so it will become 3 level paging or 3 level page table like that if you go on inserting number of uh, page tables okay so we call it as a multi level paging or multi level page table okay so hope you have understood uh, the hierarchical paging still we will see so uh, we are seeing we are discussing the two level paging example okay that is nothing but hierarchical paging only we are discussing about hierarchical paging only we are seeing the example so let us suppose if you take a logical address consisting of 32 bit okay you have taken a logical address consisting of 32 bit okay and uh, the size is 1k 1k means it is approximately 2 to the power 10 okay so now that is divided into okay that is divided into so a logical address is divided into a page number as well as offset number that we know so anything will be divided into p and d where p is the page number and d is the offset number p is the page number and d is the offset number so 
here we have discussed 2 pound and 1 k, uh, 1 kilo means 1 k, the size of the page is 1 k means it is 2 pound 10, that is the total is 32 bits. So if you remove this 10 bits for offset, so 10 bit for this, so 32 minus 10 we will have 22. So that's why it was clearly mentioned that the page number consisting of 22 bits and the offset consisting of 10 bits. You, will, you may get the doubt uh, how the 32 is divided into 22 and 10 because we have specified the size of the page is 1k. 1k means it is 2 power 10. That's why the offset size is 10. Out of 32 if you take out 10 for representing the offset, so the remaining 22 is for representing the page number. So the offset consists of 10 bits whereas the uh, page number consists of 22 bits. Okay. So suppose since the page table is page and the page number is further divided. So if this is further divided, so now it will become what? So page P1, this is page P2 and this is D. So this D consists of the 10 bits as it is. Okay. And whereas this uh, P, page number is further divided. If it is further divided, what we can do? This 22 can be split as 12 bits and this as 10 bits. 12 plus 10, 22. Plus 10, 32. Okay. Right? This is the way how the process goes on. So they have shown page P1. See, first page consisting of 12 bits. Second page. 10 bits, offset value 10 bits, so 12 plus 10, 22 plus 10, 32, okay, these are, these are the way how we split, okay, in two level page, okay, we will see, so the address translation scheme in the two level page, or hierarchical page, the address level translation in two level page is we have seen the logical address P1, P2 and uh, offset number D. So this is the page number is splitted into further the page number is splitted in two level again two pages. So P1, P2. So the P1, so consisting of the information regarding the outer page table. So here we will have the P1, okay, and this will address this, right, the outer page table. And from here, okay, here we will store P1 and here it will have, it will have the address of P2. It will address the P2 and P2 will start storing here. And from here the offset value D will be here. Okay. And that will be that is the physical memory. Okay. So this is the way how the address translation scheme goes on. So whatever the logical address we have specified here, that will be that will be searched there. Whatever the address we want to go, whatever the address location we want to reach. So that address location we will reach through how first through P1 we are reaching the outer page table. From there the inner page table will be there. Okay, from there the offset value. Okay, from there we will uh, reach the address location to which we want to reach. Okay, so this is address translation scheme. Hope uh, you have understood something about our uh, two level page. Okay. Hierarchical paging or two level paging here both mean the same. This is also regarding that only. Okay. So this is all about our uh, first one that is hierarchical paging. Come to our uh, second second uh, uh, page structure. It is nothing but hashed page table. Hashed page table. So here uh, what the author is telling is a virtual page number is hashed into a page table. A virtual page number is hashed into a page table okay so here uh, see each element consists of a virtual page number as well as a mapped frame number okay a mapped page frame as well as a point okay it is similar to a double linked list or a linked list a linked list we know so here we will have the data and here we will have the address of address of next element okay so thereby we will go to the next okay here we will have data here we will have the address of next location like that okay like that okay uh, it is similar to linked list we will see that with an example 
So in the figure, if you see the has the table, the second table. We are discussing about the second table. So here we have the logical address. So here this is page number and this is offset value. We already know this is page number. P is page number. D is the offset value. So right. So if we perform the hash function, okay. So this page number. So after performing the hash function, so we will reach the hash table. We will go to the hash table, okay. And if there, if the there we will place, okay, we will place the page number in this hash table, okay. Or else, or else it will point to some other place. See, it is pointing to Q. Okay, Q R S. Okay, see, it is pointing to here, and again it is pointing to it is pointing to some other address location. That is here. Okay, like that we can keep on keep on adding number of links or number of pointers. Okay. Otherwise, if if it is if it is okay, that data will be that page number will be read here. Okay. And here that uh, particular displacement, this displacement and this uh, displacement means this offset value and this offset value are one and the same. Okay, so based upon that we will go to the particular uh, physical uh, memory location or physical address. Okay, so here what we are doing, the page number is uh, given to the hash function. From there, what we do is, so if there is any insufficient insufficient space or memory in the Hash table. What we do is we will use some pointer functions to address, to address or to place the data, and then the address of the next pointer will be indicated. Like that, we will keep on moving till whatever the location we require. Okay. So if we have read here, we will read here, and the particular address location will be stored here. This is something about as the page table. Come to the third one. The last one it is inverted page table. This is inverted page table. So in inverted page table, what we will do is, so here uh, we have the process. Okay. So here this is nothing but this is PID. PID is nothing but process ID. This is process ID. This is page number. This is offset. So the logical address consists of. Page number and offset that we know. Here we have process ID. So here the CPU gives some process ID and that process based upon that process ID it will keep on searching in the page table. In the page table we keep on searching for the process ID mentioned here. So we keep on searching. So the process ID is identified here and its corresponding page number also. Okay. So based upon that, we will store here. What is I here? I is nothing but it's a frame number. I is nothing but I is a frame number. This we know. This is offset. This and this, these two are one and the same. Okay. That so based upon that, now what are the what are the process ID we have? Okay. Based upon this process ID, we will search, and in that process ID, we will have some page, and that page will be stored in this frame number. Okay. So we will go to the particular. This is physical memory. Means you know, physical memory is nothing but main memory. So in main memory, what happens? In main memory, so it is split into number of frames. Frame zero, frame one, two, like that. So this I is nothing but it's a frame number. So in this frame number, we will store this page. It will be stored there. Okay. This is what happens in inverted page table. So hope you have understood the structure of page table. We have discussed the structure of page table. We have we have three varieties of uh, page tables. They are nothing but the first one is hierarchical uh, hierarchical paging or uh, multi-level paging or two-level paging or three-level paging. Or simply we can say that hierarchical uh, paging or multi-level paging. Come to the second one. It is has has page table and third one is inverted page table. So. Hope you have understood this. Okay, thank you.